Hey Brava folks, today I'm making a pumpkin grilled cheese, but instead of using pumpkins, I'm going to use an acorn squash, just a regular acorn squash, or pumpkin will work fine, butternut squash will work too. I've cored it just like this, and all we're going to do is pop it into the Brava. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on it, and I'm going to place it flat side down on the Brava sheet. Into the bottom rack, and choose the butternut squash halved recipe the preset recipe for this and we're gonna add uh, two butternut squash halves because we have two acorn squashes and go and here's what it looks like when it comes out of the brava nice and roasted okay so i've scooped it out placed it in a bowl i want to sweeten it a little bit with some honey you may not need to do that depending on on the sweetness of it already but i'm putting out like a little bit of honey to this uh tiny bit of salt and um, I have pumpkin spice or pumpkin pie spice over here. See how thick that is? You can easily now spread this on that sandwich. All right, I've buttered both sides of the toast and already spread some of this wonderful squash mix that I put. I'm gonna lay two slices of cheese right on top. This is a Jarlsberg, you can use Swiss or even cheddar. It's a really good combination. You want something that melts nicely in there, nice and thick. So two slices is good for it. And we're gonna go ahead and place this in our brava. Okay, here we go. Right in there. See you soon. Set to go. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh man, look at that. That is absolute beauty. And how does this taste? I'll tell you in a second. Hmm. It's really nice and, you know, sweet. It's really a good combination. This is my new favorite sandwich for this fall. Hmm. Hmm. That's cheesy too. <laughs>